Amen. God as God couldn't come on earth to rescue man. That was going to be injured. But God said, what am I going to do to rescue man out of the sin state where he is in? Remember? For the wages of sin is death, like he said. So someone who is without sin needed to die. Remember? The scripture says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Meaning on the face of the earth, everyone had sinned. But someone who needed to rescue man out of that sin was supposed to be sinless. God said, what am I going to do? I am God. I am who I am. I can do it. I can become whatever I want to become. So God did what? He stepped down. He became God. He became man. Mm. God. He became man. And that man is Christ. Amen. Amen. So Christ is not a junior God. No, no, no. Christ is not small God. Christ is God Himself who became a man to help man out of sins. Now, why do we call Jesus as the Son of God? When we say Jesus is the Son of God, we are going to have a mentality of thinking like, does God have a wife? Amen. Because when you say Jesus is the Son of God. What comes in our mind is that if God is the Father, that has to be the wife of God, yes. the one who produced Jesus. Yes. But let me tell you, mm. there is no humanity. Mm. So now, what, when God became, or when God became a man, when when immortality, God is immortal. Mm. God is divinity. Mm. When divinity put on humanity, it is called Son. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. When when the spiritual entity. Man is the natural entity, it becomes a son. Mm -hmm. That's why the, the, the scripture says in the book of John, to they that received the divinity mm -hmm. in their humanity, mm -hmm. he gave them the rights to be called sons. Mm -hmm. So sonship is when God comes in a man. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is called the son of God because God, he Put on flesh. Yes, he is sir. still hundred percent God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, not any video, not any video. Mm. Jesus is God. Yes. Sir. So he came with the essence of revealing the nature of God. Remember that in the first place, the nature of God was what distorted. Amen. Yes, so now, go start to the book of uh, John chapter one verse eighteen. John chapter one verse eighteen. John chapter number 1, verse 18. Verse number 18. Yes, sir. I'm reading from the NIV version. You don't you have a KJV? In Genesis, it's one. Okay, you can read the same NIV. Can you read it? Okay. So John chapter number 1, yes, and verses eight. number 18. Yes, sir. The Bible says, mm -hmm. No one has ever seen God, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, no one has seen God, mm -hmm. but the only Son who is himself God mm -hmm. and, is, and is in the closest relationship with the Father has made him known. Has made him known. Mm -hmm. No one has ever seen God. Mm -hmm. Not even Moses, he never saw God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Moses, he told us, I saw the back of God. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, who is God himself, mm -hmm. he comes and tells us, forget Moses. He was joking. He never saw God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He never, the only, the only one who has seen God is his son, who is God, mm. who became a man. Yes. And he has come to reveal him to you. Mm -hmm. So meaning, if we want to know God, we need to know Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus has come to reveal God. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Meaning, anything that you don't see in Jesus, it is not in God. Mm -hmm. Because God, or Jesus rather, mm. came to manifest the nature of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because in the Old Testament, people had the dual covenant who dual nature, they were thinking like God is dual in his doing. Mm. But God is consistent. That's why the scripture says, Jesus, he came to review God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Go, sir, go to the book of First John chapter 5, verse 20. First John chapter 5, verse 20. The only one who can review God correctly in us is Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Only Jesus can review God. Any God that you attempt to know outside Jesus is not God. Any God whom you attempt to know outside the nature of 
Christ is not God. You can go ahead, sir. First John chapter 5, verse 20. First John chapter number 5, verses number 20. The Bible says, We know also that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding so that we may know him who is true. We are in him who is true by being himself the Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Hallelujah. Now, I guess by now we understand when, it's, when, when the scripture says son, isn't it? Yes. Son. Mm. Son doesn't mean junior God, no. Son means Jesus Christ who became trapped in the matter. The trapping of humanity with divinity is son. Mm. So now the scripture says, and we know mm. that the son who is Jesus Christ, mm. he has come mm. to make us know God. And he has given us an understanding about God. Meaning, if we need to understand the dealings of God, we need to look at Jesus. Amen. We can never know the dealings of God outside Jesus. So, what is the mission of Jesus? The mission of Jesus is just to come and explain God to us. Is to come and make us understand God. There's a difference between knowing and understanding. Hallelujah. There's a difference between that. Understanding is going deep. Knowing what has to do with everything about that pe person. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, the mission of Jesus mm -hmm. was to come and reveal who God is to us. Mm -hmm. That's why, in the Old Testament, people had the double-minded uh, 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 of God. Some, they'll say, God is good, but when you make a mistake, he's bad, because he can pack the earth you enter there. Some would say, God is, it, 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 it can cause you to be sick when you are when you are not following what He's commanding you, and when you follow what He's commanding you, He will bless you. So people didn't know the standard of God, but Jesus Christ, when He came, He began to differentiate. Because you know what was happening? Since people didn't know God by then, they also didn't know the devil. The knowledge of God is the knowledge of the devil. Amen. Amen. The knowledge of God is the knowledge of the devil. Don't try to know God by looking at Satan. Look at God. You will even know who Satan is. Amen. 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 Jesus said, I have come. Amen. A thief comes but to still kill and destroy. These are the missions of who the thief. And when the scripture says the thief, it means Satan. Isn't it? Amen. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life. Amen. So now, Meaning, if the works of the devil is to kill, steal, and destroy, can God have the same mission? Can God have the same mission in the devil? So now, if the mission of the devil is to kill, steal, and destroy, does that mean God kills, steals, and destroys? No. Does that mean so? No, sir. Meaning, the one who brought destruction in the Old Testament, was it God or Satan? Satan. The one who killed in the Old Testament, was it God or Satan? Satan. The one who has been stealing, was it God or Satan? Satan. This is how you understand the nature of God. Mm. Because Jesus put a distance saying, this is Satan, this is me. Mm. And whatsoever you don't see in me, is not in God. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. God, he is not the one who is in you know, there are people today who are going through hardship, who are going through sorrow, and they are, they are, they are encouraging themselves, saying, you know, the Lord is testing me to see if I will remain faithful to him. No, God is not testing you with poverty. God cannot test you with sickness. God cannot test you with joblessness. God cannot test you with bad, bad things. If God wants you to change, if God wants you to repent, the scripture says he gives you good, 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 good. It is the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. And repentance, repentance, it doesn't mean confessing of sin. Repent, repent is a Greek word called metanol. And metanol, meta, it means changing. That's why the word metamorphosis comes from. Metamorphosis is where a butterfly, it, it, it changes from, from the caterpillar into a butterfly. That, that is metamorphosis. So, meta, it means it change. Nos, it means mind. So, repentance, which is 
metanoas, it means the changing of the mind. If you were thinking like God is a bad, bad, bad God, when you meet his goodness, you begin to change your mind. No, 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 God is not a bad God. God is a good God. Glory, glory.
everything that you see from the Old Testament which happened is who God was doing. No, 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 no. no. That's why the scripture says, I have three dividing the world of God. Mm -hmm. The word of God has to be like three divided. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember I said something like the you and me, we are supposed to get an inspiration from the New Testament, the epistles. Let me tell you, there's a difference between Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and the epistles. Amen. Our deity is not in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Our deity is in the epistles. Hallelujah. Yes. What is the mission of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? I'm not saying they are bad. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they are there to reveal to us that Jesus is the Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. When you believe that Jesus is the Christ, you become what? Born again. So, go to the book of uh, John. John chapter 20, verse 21. John chapter 20, verse 21. When you believe that Jesus is the Christ. Now, Christ is the name of God's humanity. Okay? Christ, when God became a human being, the name that he answers to that is Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Jews had challenges with, with, with accepting Jesus as the Christ. Why? Right? Because the Jews, they knew to say, when you say Christ, we mean you are God who has become into a man. So that's why they had challenges with him. You can go ahead, sir. John chapter number 20, verses number 31, the yes. Bible says, But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, mm -hmm. the Son of God. And that by believing in him, you may have eternal life in his name. Hallelujah. Yeah. So Matthew, Matthew, Luke, and John are written. These are crusade messages. Mm -hmm. They are written that you may believe mm -hmm. that Jesus is the Christ. Christ, the other, the other name of Christ is Messiah. Mm -hmm. The other name for Messiah is Savior. Hallelujah. Yeah. These are the Matthew, Matthew, Luke, and John are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, you and me today, we believe that Jesus is the Christ. Not so. Mm -hmm. Since now we have believed that Jesus is the Christ, what happens? We have life. Yes. He was said that by believing you might have life. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now we have believed in him and we have life. Do we end from there? No. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the message of the Bible is Christ. The message of the Bible is Christ. When you learn about Jesus Christ and you believe in him, you continue learning about Christ. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5, chapter 5, verse 13. First John chapter 5, verse 13. So now this one is for you and me who have believed now that Jesus is the Messiah. So now what is needed now? What is the mission now of us believers? First John. First John chapter 5, verse 13. First John chapter number 5, verses number 13, the Bible says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, yes. that you may know that you have eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the epistles are written to you and me who believe. Hallelujah. Yes. The epistles are written to believers. Mm. Why is it to believers? That believers may know. Mm. It's not enough to believe. Mm. You have to know. Hallelujah. Yeah. You have to know that you have. When you are a believer, everything that you ever need is inside you. So the mission of the man of God is to reveal that to you which is already inside you. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is no new thing which God will ever do for you. There was no new thing which God will ever deposit in you. When God came in you, he came full and inside you. So whatever you would want in life is already inside you. The mission of the scripture is to reveal that which you already have. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.